Okay, in this video, we're going to look at this little device here. Now, this is a decade resistance box, and if you do a lot of breadboarding, this is a very handy device to have. So, basically, what you could do, you could dial in any resistance from 0 ohms, which would be a short across the terminals here, all the way up to 999,999 ohms, which is basically 1 mega ohm. So, you could dial in anything from 0 to 1 mega ohm in 1 ohm steps. And you could use that for, say, tweaking a voltage divider on your breadboard circuit or an attenuator or a feedback resistor on an op amp for gain control. And you could actually do this with a live circuit. And you could adjust the value until you get the desired results. And then you know what resistor that you could actually apply to your circuit. So in this video, we'll have a look at how we could actually build one of these devices. Okay, here's a block diagram of the decade resistance box. And you can see the six thumb wheel switches. Now each thumb wheel switch has an array of nine resistors. So on the first one there, there's 900K resistors, and then 910K, then 1K, then 100 ohm, 10 ohm, and 1 ohm. And they're all in series. So you dial in each resistance value on each thumb wheel, and we'll put that uh, resistance value all in series to the output terminals. So next we'll have a look at the schematic and how this is uh, wired up. Okay, here's the schematic for the decade resistance box. Now inside the box there's actually six thumb wheel switches and I've only drawn in three here but they're all wired the same. So if you look at the very first thumb wheel switch that has the 100k ohm resistor array you can see the nine resistors all in series spread across the terminals from zero to nine and on the zero terminal of the first thumb wheel switch, it's cascaded down to the next thumb wheel switch to its center connection. And that's the 10K ohm uh, resistor array thumb wheel switch. And also that one, the zero terminal, is cascaded down to the next. And that continues on all the way down to the 1 ohm uh, array, a resistor array thumb wheel switch. And its zero terminal goes out to the, one of the output terminals. And the other, other output terminal goes all the way back up the very first thumb wheel switch to its common. So that's basically the schematic there for the, de for the decade resistance box. And next we'll actually open the box and have a look inside. Okay, I've taken the top off the decade resistance box so we can have a look inside. And inside there you can see the six thumb wheel switches. Now each one of these you buy separately and you, you stack them together and you put a threaded rod through all of them with, with uh, nuts on either end to hold them together and then mount it on the front plate with four screws. And you can see the resistor arrays on each thumb wheel switch. So those are nine resistors on each thumb wheel switch. And they're 1% uh, precision resistors because remember you're putting these all in series. So you want some accurate resistors. And then all the thumb wheel switches are all connected in series and brought out to the two terminals you can see here on the side. So that's basically uh, the inside of the box and how it's all put together. And we'll look at how we could actually use this box in, in a circuit uh, uh, application. Okay, I've hooked up some test lead cables to my decade resistance box. And you can see the clips down here across this resistor, parallel with this resistor. So I can adjust the thumb wheel switches to drop the value of this resistance to my desired uh, value. Or if you want to replace a resistor in the circuit, you could use these breadboard wires and plug them into your board where, you, where your component goes and then clip this onto the two clips that goes to the decade resistance boxes and adjust the thumb wheel switches for the desired results.